These are a few floppy disks I came across not too long ago. Now I've uploaded many more floppy disks uh, on my channel a while back. No idea what this is. And then these other ones here. So I'm going to play those. There's No idea what this is. So what's this one? Okay. Okay, so now I'll play the next one here, the next floppy disk. I'm guessing this, uh, this music will be very different from the last disk I played. It's just a guess. You whistle a tune, a song you remember, a melody you can't forget. You whistle it, but this is what you really remember. Uh oh, okay, this is, so this is a copyrighted song, I'm sure, so. Or perhaps these. These are samples of songs. But now, the editors of Time Life Records have recreated the best of this wonderful music in one newly recorded stereo collection. So that's a um, sample of the, what you just heard there. So there's no, there's nothing on this side at all. Hmm. So now let's remove, I'm gonna take everything off here. And play the next. Record. This is what's this one? This is a two-side record. So one side is French, the other side is English. This is the English side, of course, from Air Canada. This is Eve Pratt. I would like to take a few minutes of your time to talk about our company, Air Canada, and about some of the challenges it faces. I have been particularly impressed by the dedication of the Air Canada people I've met. And I'm sure this is characteristic of the whole airline. Dedication in itself implies a desire for constant improvement. And this quality will go a long way in meeting our challenges and realizing our opportunities. You've met and beaten a great many challenges in the past. 
but the ones in the very near future will be even more difficult. We can surmount them if, and only if, we all say we are prepared to work together as a well-knit team. This means directing all our efforts towards the company's goals. We must communicate freely at all levels between departments and within departments. So, very good tips here. There are people who say we will never make it. They say we've come this far. So, I don't know how long the program is. I'll time it later on. This is a French version, and he speaks French as well, so this, was, this is going to be in French. Bonjour, ici Yves Pratt. J'aimerais prendre quelques minutes de votre temps pour vous entretenir de notre compagnie, Air Canada, et des défis que l'avenir nous pose. Depuis ma nomination, j'ai dû, d'une façon prioritaire, m'occuper des grandes questions de l'avenir et des défis qui se présentent, soit le taux d'accroissement prévu au cours des dix prochaines années, le financement de cette croissance, doublement plus élevé que celui auquel nous sommes habitués, sans que la victoire ne soit jamais assurée d'avant. All right, good. Um, well, I want to play the next one. It's again Air Canada. And this is someone different, G.R. Baldwin, as opposed to what this one, this person is. And this is a two-sided record as well. French is on the other side. This is the English side. These sheets by are by Evertone sound sheets. Evertone this is John Baldwin sound speaking. sheets. I appreciate this opportunity of talking to you, although I know it's a one-sided kind of conversation. It's not quite as good as meeting face to face, but perhaps it's a little more personal than a letter. I'm still a newcomer inside Air Canada, although over almost 30 years, I have had some association with the company. I have a deep pride in this dynamic business. You have made Air Canada an important, successful domestic and international operation. Canada presents special transportation problems that arise from its broad spaces and scattered population. We can all be proud of the way in which Air Canada has played its part in helping solve them. Furthermore, when you have a chance to read your company's 1968 annual report, and while we still have a long way to go, I think you will be proud of our improved profit position. So that's a clue as to what year it was. This could be 1969 recording. However, we can't stand still. Oh, sorry about that. So, um, 1969 recording, apparently. I wonder if this same person speaks French. Apparently, the same name is on this side, it's in French. So apparently he speaks French as well. Oops, I don't know what caused that. Ici Jean Baldwin. Je suis heureux d'avoir cette occasion de vous dire quelques mots. A défaut de pouvoir vous rencontrer in the Oh, that's uh, not too good at all. <laughs> so this is the same person who spoke English on the opposite side. And here he is speaking French, but uh, to me I can tell that uh, he has a strong English accent, so he's not uh, native to, uh, to French, it's, it's quite obvious, but he's doing his best. See Air Canada est aujourd'hui une grande société à caractère international, c'est grâce à vous. Le Canada a toujours posé des problèmes difficiles de communication à cause de la taille de notre territoire et du dispersement de notre population. Nous pouvons tous être fiers de la façon dont Air Canada a contribué à les résoudre. Mm. Mais nous ne pouvons en rester là. Il va nous falloir continuer de progresser. Oh, that's not too good. Au moment même, anyway, I don't want to be critical, but que la the pronunciation is not too good at all. Import. Sur le plan international d'ailleurs, la concurrence a toujours été... But the French language is difficult to learn, as it is, for 
native speakers. So, in concurrence, accelerate sur nos vols domestiques. At least it's understandable. That's not well. He's doing his best. It was worth the effort. Oh, now this record player has a problem um, operating the automatic um, automatic arm, and that's I have to repair this eventually. So I avoid using the. There we go. I avoid using the uh, automatic. Thing, whatever it's called because it doesn't not able not strong enough to lift the arm to go anywhere so those two uh, discs may have been found in this folder right here I don't know the other discs were in it but some a lot of those discs have nothing to do with Air Canada there's no year on this but as one of those discs that we heard is 1968 report so it was um, you know 1969 I guess it was published flip flexi disc park lane and so is this one those other ones is Everton sound sheet as well as the Okay, so now this uh, last disc here is. Um, don't know what this is. This is side one. Cessna, Cessna airplane. It says so on the uh, sound sheet, anyways. So. Okay. I'm Bob Cole. Cessna flight instructor. It's my career and I love it. I've taught an awful lot of people to fly, but I still wonder how come everyone doesn't learn to fly? It's fun. But more than that, flying is going places quickly and often. I'll bet there's a lot of people who'd like to fly if they understood how really easy it is. They seem to think it's some mysterious technique that takes years of study. Heck, I rode my son's mini bike the other day, and that's a lot tougher than flying. <laughs> it's tougher on the ears, too. Anyway, I find prospective students have a lot of questions about flying. And a lot of notions. Some of them wrong. So let's talk about it. Maybe answer some of the questions you might have. Probably the most common question is about expense. Most people come in expecting it to cost them a bundle to learn to fly. Well, the cost depends a lot on what part of the country you live in. But if you check with your Cessna Pilot Center, I'll bet you'll find it costs a lot less than you thought. Keep in mind, Cessna can help you arrange to finance your flying lessons about like you would a color TV set. 
So then, how long does it take you to learn to fly? Well, most people solo in about 10 hours. And some people get their license in about 40 hours. Others need a few more lessons. A high school driver's ed course takes more time than that. If you've ever driven home during rush hour, you know why. More than a few students say they didn't get started when they wanted to because they didn't know how to begin. Let me tell you, the Cessna Pro, mm -hmm. the world's best trainer. And that's why more people train in 150s than in any other make. Did you know almost half of all flight training is done in Cessna 150s? And can I tell you how good... I had no idea. When they say learn from the leader, it makes me proud to know I'm doing the teaching. If you want to learn to fly, or even if you think you might, come on out and talk. We'll do it, like the song says. Whenever you're ready. convincing that's pretty good oops gotta be careful here I'm holding the camcorder while I'm doing this. So this is side two. No idea what's on this side. Whenever you're ready is what the title of this one is. Well, maybe it's the song itself. I don't know. instrumental version of the song we heard on the other side in the background with the man playing with the man uh, speaking so there's no dialogue here there's also no singing Good, it sounds good. So, this song is obviously called Whenever You're Ready by the Cessna, so Cessna Airplane, I guess. There's actually some leading grooves there. I just noticed there is no there doesn't seem to be any grooves leading out as there is an other side so I didn't know that there's actually some feedback on the uh, feedback from the cartridge of the record player to the stereo system. Anyways, they didn't put any grooves leading to the uh, center. And uh, so that's the uh, problem here with the record player, it doesn't. So on this side there is a lead out groove. <coughs> so this is something that needs to be fixed so that it will uh, 
function properly here. Okay, so thanks for listening to these discs.